Hello and welcome to another episode of We Care at Fireplace and Chimney Professionals. Today we're here in our showroom and uh, we're going to be reloading our wood stove after a night of burning. So one of the first things to do is, on every uh, freestanding wood stove is, you're going to want to open the air control to give it the most amount of air. Then you want to open the front door, just kind of let it stabilize for a little bit. You're going to see how the ash starts to swirl around. Some of the embers that are in there are going to start to glow and that's going to get the air moving uh, continued in the right direction so you don't get smoke into the room. And as you pull the door open, you just want to kind of slowly open it up for the first two or three inches and then you're ready to go for the full motion all the way open. Once the stove itself is uh, ready to reload, push the ash back from the front here. And as you can see, some of the stuff falls out. That's the purpose of an ash lip and also having proper hearth protection. The next thing you wanna do is on any front loading stove, which is what we're working with here today, we're gonna to be taking the coals and we're gonna pull them forward. So you wanna take all the hot coals that are in the back and we wanna drag them to the front. So the purpose of that is because most afterburner stoves, which is what this is, so it's non-catalytic, they're going to have a cigarette burn. That means that when you put the wood in, it burns from front to back. So after an overnight burn, what happens is all of the wood deposits in the front are completely burned up and the main coals that are left are deposited in the back. So you're going to have something that's going to sit like this coals in the back, you're going to grab them to bring the coals to the front. So as we take our new firewood and we load it in here, and once again, we can load it in both directions. If you load it in lengthwise, you're going to get the most intense burn and it's going to give you the maximum amount of heat. If you load it in sideways, which is called east to west, it's going to give you a more moderate, longer burning fire. So for this morning here, it's about nine degrees. We're going to put it in north to south, front to back, and we're going to get that firewood in all the way to the back. So we're going to put it in, leave it on there. Once again, we're going to be putting it on an angle like this because we want those hot coals in the front to burn up. So we're putting the wood in gently so we're not slamming against the back of the wood stove because that's really what causes the uh, fire brick to crack. So we've got our pieces on top of there on that slope. We're going to close our door back up and our air control that we previously had on high, we're going to probably put that down to, I would say the medium setting until we get some active flames in here. Once the active flames engage, then we can either leave it in a medium setting or we can put it down to our low setting, depending on what kind of heat output or what kind of longevity of burn. So hopefully this helps you. Once again, this is Ryan Reed from Fireplace and Chimney Professionals. Today we're at our shop in Kittnersville, Pennsylvania. Hope you have a great day and this helped you out. Take care.